Hey, welcome back guys. Okay, so in this video, I want to talk a little bit more about variables. I want to talk about how variables can change as well as I want to talk about how to mix certain types of variables together, such as a string variable with an integer variable. But first, I'm going to talk about how variables can change. So let's go ahead and create a variable and I'll just call it one. Let me indent this over a little bit further. Variable one, and we'll set this equal to 10. And then let's go ahead and use the document period right and let's go ahead and call this variable and we're going to go ahead and call it by whatever we declared it as so we called it one if it was two right here we would just call it as two and now let's go ahead and close this out and save it and I'll refresh this in the browser and there's our ten okay but what if I want to add to this or multiply this or divide this or subtract this well we can do that as well so to add we're just going to use the plus sign and let's go ahead and save this and refresh it in the browser and it should be 15. There it is. If we want to multiply to this, let's use the asterisk and we'll just add 10. So our output should be 100. There it is. And to divide, we use the forward slash. So let's divide it by 2. So our result should be 5. I'm going to sneeze. One second. <coughs> oh, bless you. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so we see right now that our variable is constantly changing, or it's not constantly changing, but we can we can change a variable, which is the opposite of a constant. And I'm not going to talk about constants in this video. Can I even spell constant right? Constants in computer programming, they don't change. It's pretty much the opposite of a variable. Variables can change, and they change all of the time. So, okay, so... What do I want to do next? I want to talk about how we can combine two types of variables. So for this example, let's go ahead and combine an integer with a string. So let's go ahead and create another variable. And we'll just call this, we'll just call it first var. And we will set this to 10. And again, this is an integer. Couldn't hurt. Just to write a little uh, comment right there. And for our second var let's set this to my favorite band is the clash and let's close this out but let's declare both of them and how we do this is let's just call both of our variables right here in our condition and our condition goes inside of our parentheses right here so let's call it first var and let's see if that outputs and it should just be 10 this 5 over here should just change to a 10. Okay. And let's call our second variable second var. And let's reload that. And my favorite band is the clash. Okay, perfect. But let's combine the two of them by adding a plus sign. So it's going to be first var plus second var. Let's save that and then refresh it in our browser. And there it is. We have our first variable, 10. We didn't put a space in there. And I'll, we'll talk about spaces and breaks and uh, maybe the next video, maybe just a couple of videos down the road. But we ran a program. We successfully ran our first JavaScript program. So congratulations and give yourself a pat on the back. We created a variable and we called it to our browser and it successfully output. So right here, we can see that we could change variables around as well as add different types of variables together. So in the first variable, we added an integer to our second variable, which is a string. So hopefully this made sense to you guys, and you guys are having a good time enjoying JavaScript and learning JavaScript and what it's all about. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. We're going to talk more about variables.